Hello, I'm Ken McDill. So how smart do you think the average National Football League player is? The NFL knows the answer to that question. Every year, players who make themselves available for the NFL draft from college are required to submit to an intelligence test at the NFL Combine, which is taking place in Indianapolis this week. The Wonderlic Cognitive Ability Test is a 50-question, 12-minute test that determines just how smart the football player is. Why does that matter when all NFL players are required to do once they sign a contract is stay in shape and play football? Well, it turns out that football at the pro level requires some intellectual sophistication, apparently. If you think the NFL asks for a dumbed-down version of the Wonderlic, you would be incorrect. The players are required to answer some difficult questions, especially when you consider they have less than 15 seconds per question on average to get the correct answer. There are sample questions from previous Wonderlics available online, and they indicate just how difficult the test is. You can look them up, but one question asks players if the words resent and reserve have similar meanings, contradictory meanings, or mean neither the same nor opposite. There was a math question that requires at least four mathematical steps to figure out, and the answer to the question was 17, and 17 is never a good answer for a math question. All NFL prospects are also required to submit to a question and answer session with team general managers or scouting directors, and these sessions are often used to measure a player's emotional and psychological state. These sessions result in some bizarre questions asked, and thanks to one former player, we now know more about what kind of questions players get asked in these sessions. Former defensive lineman Austin Lane revealed this week some of the questions he was asked in his personal interview sessions. He was asked in two different ways about his thoughts regarding murder. If you could kill someone and get away with it, would you? was one question he was asked. That was followed up later in a different session with the question, if you had to murder someone, would you use a gun or a knife? Don't you kind of wonder what the correct answer to those two questions were? Other players have chimed in as well. One player was asked which superpower he would want to have, and another was asked how many things he thinks he could do with a paperclip. Famously, current NFL Most Valuable Player Cam Newton said he was asked if he sees himself more as a cat or as a dog. Newton refused to answer the question, saying he saw himself as a human being, and he was immediately challenged as to whether he had a problem with authority. Finally, one player said he was completely stymied when he was asked whether he was a pillow or a blanket. What can be determined from a response to that question? I'm Kent McDill. Thanks for watching.